Subscribe to the channel. This is King Me. It's a cold world. It's a sick world. You know, foster mama is supposed to be, you know, taking care of the kids, not having them out prostituting. So you, hey, you, so you know, I, hey, I got y'all for a foster. So you, if it wasn't for me, y'all wouldn't be here. Y'all gotta do, y'all gotta do something for me now. You know, come on, man. Like, usually when kids are in foster care, you know, they was already going through some shit. You know, the parents can take care of them, or they was already going through it. You know, taking from their parents. Probably didn't even never have parents. You know, um, but pretty sad, man. Let's go to the to the Bronx, man. Mother and father sex trafficking their kids, man. Foster kids. King. And thank you. We've got new details this afternoon in a disturbing sex trafficking bust in the Bronx. A registered sex offender and his wife, who is a foster mother, appearing in court today, facing numerous charges, including forcing two of the foster children into prostitution. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Charlesworth is live in Lower Manhattan, where the couple was just in court. Michelle? So disturbing, and we don't know how old these young women are. Eight of them, two of them foster kids. We Again, we don't know how old, but it appears this nine-month investigation dug up all kinds of specific evidence, videos, messages, uh, prostitution ads, all allegedly tied to this one couple. Uh, they both lived in the same Bronx apartment. He is a registered sex offender at that address, and she was a foster parent, and it was made clear in court... Yeah, that was mine. Okay, she was okay. She gonna get to it, but hey, I get to it too. Like, sex offender? How you even around kids, man? How, what? And she the one that. Uh, but how are you inside? How? how? You know, when you got foster, you know, you got people that come by and they check on the hat. Like, what's going on, man? Sickening. The child services had that address. And they knew his history. Both in handcuffs, 38-year-old Kareem Mitchell and his wife, Sharice, 51, went into court. You were doing this with foster children? Is that correct? The Manhattan DA's office calls this a sex trafficking takedown that came after a nine-month investigation. In evidence, verbatim texts about prostitution, money records on Zelle, ads for prostitution on Instagram and Facebook, and specifics regarding hotels and cars where sex acts allegedly took place. Involved, eight victims, all young women, two of them in foster care at the couple's apartment here in the Bronx. In court, both Kareem and Sharice Mitchell pleaded not guilty to sex trafficking and conspiracy charges, which, if convicted, carry up to a possible 100 years in prison for him and 75 years for her. Read in court, verbatim text... Come on, man. They just said they had all the evidence. They just said they had all the evidence. <laughs> yeah, they gone. Adios. Fuckers. Not guilty. Yeah. Like pop you in the face, get in the car from just this morning, including expletives promising violence, allegedly fear and threats were a daily occurrence and messages all reportedly in evidence. Most disturbing, Kareem Mitchell is a registered sex offender dating back to 2008. He served five years. His wife, Sharice, at exactly the same address in the Bronx, was able somehow to foster two young women who, according to what happened in court today, literally were recruited from the foster care system for sex trafficking and prostitution. Their ages were not given. Do you have anything to say? The charges span areas of New York, but alleged prostitution also took place in Connecticut and New Jersey. <sighs> charges against sex trafficking and conspiracy. If convicted, he could see 100 years. She could see 75. Both were called a flight risk today in court. No bail for the man, Kareem Mitchell. Uh, millions in bail, which she is not expected to post for Sharice Mitchell.